As a business owner, it's important to understand that business is flux filled. If it wasn't COVID-19, it could have been anything else, you know. These storms come, but you need to have the staying power to thrive. And I mean, hey, we've been around for over five years in February, we'll be six years old. So I think that we are doing well in court and we, I mean, we can only get better. Hi, my name is Jovita Matujemu, CEO of Pondit Bookkeeping Services Limited, and this is Business Day Diary. <laughs> Jovita Madojemu and I'm the founder of Pondit Bookkeeping Services Limited. I started my career in 2005, I mean after I finished from University of Benin, studied accounting and I worked in an audit firm for a bit before I went into banking, um, focusing on SME banking and the banking space. Did that for a while and then in 2016 I started um, Pondit Bookkeeping Services. I qualified with the ACCA as a Chartered Accountant and that has helped me in what I do in dealing with SMEs, managing their books of accounts, giving them advice and you know running their business and things along those lines. So yeah, typically I wake up at 5.30am um, and then go through all my morning rituals Three times a week I have to work out because I mean it boosts my immunity and I don't like to fall sick so that's important for me. I'm in the office at 6.45 a.m. most days uh, because I like to have an early start. Now because what I do has a lot to do with looking at numbers it's important for me to have an alert mind and so my morning brain in quote works best for that. In a typical day you know I'm looking at figures reviewing what my um, associates have done and then I'm taking phone calls from clients, trying to understand their needs, trying to discuss the reports that we have sent to them, make decisions, advise them. And then also from time to time, I have to speak at um, SME focused events because I call myself an advocate for financial literacy. So a number of people um, engage me to speak to SMEs at different kinds of forums. So that also forms part of my well, I say daily or weekly activities, so planning for those activities, executing them. So, um, bookkeeping is primarily about recording, tracking, following the money, um, finding out what the money is doing in the business, you know, ensuring that you can tell at any point in time what monies are coming in and what monies are going out, what they are being used for, so that at any point in time you can actually speak to what your business is doing, how well it is doing, or I mean, if it's not doing so well, why? You know, know those areas where um, there are issues and how to fix them. So that's really what bookkeeping is all about. And in terms of why I started Pondi Bookkeeping Services, I would say that um, I wanted a situation where business owners, small businesses could make decisions from a more informed standpoint. And that's what bookkeeping is about, bringing um, credible information based on the activities that have happened in the business you know because I I mean I, I said earlier that I worked in a bank and one of the things I saw in the SME space was businesses here today and gone tomorrow and a lot of a lot of it was because they weren't working with credible information many of them would take loans and won't even know you know how those loans were impacting them and, and things along those lines so I believe that I could come in and you know begin to address that situation one SME at a time and you know ultimately ensure that the SME space is more informed and you know they can begin to compete with bigger businesses by being able to know what's going on in their business at any point in time and making decisions that will drive business growth. We had customers that fell along the wayside <laughs> and uh, business is flux filled. If it wasn't COVID-19 it could have been anything else you know these storms come but you need to have the staying power to thrive and the thing about it was that I mean it was interesting how that we tried to reach out to them and a number of them just didn't take calls they didn't want to be reached out to and I, I and I get it maybe that was the only way they knew how to you know react to the situation it was a nightmare it was a root shock it was the first time we we're actually confronting something of that magnitude so yes we did lose customers as a business um, 
broken contracts. We didn't take any legal action because we knew what the situation was and we also tried to empathize. But we are grateful for those customers who actually communicated and said, oh, sorry, for now, we won't be able to use your services. We also had to make some adjustments in allowing them pay us in installments because their cash flows had become uncertain. So that communication, that understanding also helped us. Then, of course, we had to manage costs. You know, we, we couldn't take on so many expenses. At some point, we actually had to let some of our staff go because, I mean, it was going to be very hard to cope with all of that. So, yeah, we, 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 we had all of that impact. But in re terms of recovering, I mean, what, one of the things that we're also doing is also increasing our, um, you know, interactions with existing customers, pursuing referrals, also building our competences too, so that we can explore, you know, uh, what I call them, collaborative opportunities because collaboration is key. So there are other businesses we can collaborate with in terms of, you know, getting access to their clients, offering services that we can, you know, also benefit from. So those are some of the, well, I say the journey so far and how we are still, you know, recovering and adapting. Uh, well, and I, I think the popular feedback is, wow, I need to, I mean, I hear clients saying it all the time that now I have to be very careful how I spend because these pundit people are going to be asking me questions, you know, so it feels like we're an accountability partner of sorts and it makes me feel very fulfilled, you know, so the other feedback that we get is the fact that, oh, I'm happy that we can get this quality of reports, you know, get our performance updates month a month at half the cost of keeping a full-time in-house qualified and experienced accountant. So we've given them that value, you know, for half the cost they would have paid if they took the alternative option. So yeah, those, those are like the key feedback we get from clients. And yes, it makes me as the pioneer or founder feel very, very fulfilled that I am doing my share in building the nation <laughs> one SME at a time. Yes. <laughs>